Alright, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers, so make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he gonna hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace. All right, man, let's talk about people talking about, <laughs> if that makes sense. I said Stewart having the boot on his leg at the Tiger game like the players. Exchanged jerseys and held him up. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, share the video. And, um, you know, let's talk about the boot on the ankle. Most people think the, uh, the injury is more serious than um, more serious than they let it on. But sometimes the boot is just there to protect the ankle, all right, uh, to stay blocked. It don't mean that. You tore or blew your ankle out. I mean, but um, yeah, the boot is just there for stability. You know, I don't mean you tore something or it's just there for stability. Or maybe it could be worse. Okay, but um, at this point, I don't. I mean, the, the worst thing if it is where he gonna miss a lot of time. I just think that uh, honestly, man, I just think that um, I, it's gonna hurt him as far as his next step. You know, um, I think they hurt his next step by not playing no more, but I understand why. But um, but they say a walking boot is a type of medical shoe used to protect the foot or ankle after injury or surgery. The boot can be used for broken bones, tendon injury, severe pains, or shin splints. A walking boot helps keep the foot stable so it can heal. It it, it can keep your weight off your uh, the area such as toes as he, as it heals. So you know, it's right then and there. It's gonna keep the weight off the ankle so it can heal. So. Um, so it don't necessarily mean to have to be broke. It says uh, treating a sprain with the walking boot. Okay, it says how does an ankle, how does a sprain ankle occur? The type of injury. Oh, something just popped up. Popped up. Sorry. Type of injury, which one of, which is one of the most common orthopedic injuries in the world. Why? Excuse me. Helps that when the ankle is suddenly tweaked or twisted sideways, ankle sprains commonly occur during sporting events and frequently happen to people who play sports such as volleyball, basketball, senior sports. Where a lot of jumping, running, and pivoting is done, ankle sprains though can also happen with people who engage in more and more routines and everyday tasks. Ankles are classified into three grades depending on how severe injury is: grade one, two, and three. Okay, grade one is a sprain involving stretch of the ligament without any tear, and the patient experiences symptoms include swelling, pain. Most grade one sprain patients, however, are able to walk on their own without help of a walking boot. For a broke a walking boot for a broken ankle, um, grade two is a sprain. Is a case of grade two sprain though a partial tear, the partial ligament tear is often involved, and there is partial a bruising. Though suffering from the type of ankle are able to walk using a walking boot or cam boot for the type of injury, a high top walking boot is preferred. Grade three, lastly, grade three sprain is the most severe. It usually involves a full tear of ligament, severe pain, and the injured ankle experience. And walking could be difficult even while wearing a sprained ankle. So he's somewhere between the, t the second grade and the first grade. So um, I don't think it's too serious at this point. I think people gonna make. I think people gonna make more of it than it actually is. So I don't think he at the point where we gotta just start screaming and oh, oh, he, he's done. <laughs> you know. Um, I don't really think it's at that point. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, he ready by the time, uh, by the time overall camp starts, all right, preseason stuff, and he should be. You worry, you worry about those, those tall guys getting lower, uh, lower body injuries, all right? Um, you worry about them guys because it's hard to come back, but he young, like he getting taller, um, so, I mean, I look forward to, I look forward to seeing him in the season. He, he signifies a piston, hardworking, gritty, you know, ain't scared to get his hands dirty. So, um, so, uh, I mean, we got to see, man. We got to see. But um, it's going to be interesting, man, for the Pistons moving forward with a lot of young talent. Uh, we had a good stream the other day. <laughs> it was funny, but I, I said, don't kill I don't like Killian and Kate Cunningham playing together, but, um, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, his, his ankle is 100% A-OK. -okay, and we can move on and, you know, talk about, you know, um, you know, talk about him, you know, being the centerpiece for the Pistons, man. So, um, 
Let's get it. Let's get to it. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Share, um, share, share this video. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can reach out anytime. You got business questions, inquiries, sponsorship, video questions, make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good313. Description, PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.